today we're going over the R720 XD. This is a 12 by 3.5 inch large forge factor Dell server. It has front controls for power. It'll also have display status indicators here, as well as latch releases. On this side, it's got a monitor port and it's also got a front facing USB. Each one of these trays can host either a 3.5 inch drive or with the adapter, a 2.5 inch SSD. Be sure to check out our written guides for the 12th generation Dell servers, where we give specific part numbers, capabilities, notes, tips, tricks, and different settings and benchmarks for different types of performance you can expect out of these various machines. That is digitalspaceport.com forward slash hardware. On the back side of the server, you can have an option for two rear facing SSDs that are 2.5 inch in size, as well an SD card. You can fit up to the 1100 watt PSUs in here, all the way down to the 495s. It comes with a mezzanine card. This one has four by one gigabit. This is the Intel i350. It also comes with two USB ports, a monitor out and a serial out. It has an iDRAC built into it. It gives you three full height PCIe 3 cards and it gives you three half height full PCIe 3 cards as well. Let's take a look inside. This is not necessarily gonna be present on all of them. And you have your riser three here, which is going to this full height stack right there. You also have your mezzanine cards that can connect right here. These just simply screw out and then you pull them up and then push them down. And you can replace this with up to two by 10 gigabit and two by one gigabit cards that are made by Mellanox or Broadcom. There is also an Intel variant of this that can be used as well. So let me show you how you can take out and remove this PCIe riser. Simply fingers in, lift up, and you've got your PCIe half height cards that'll come out. This retainer in the back here clips on like this. You need to make sure that it's lined up with your cards so it holds them in in the back spot. If you need to remove riser two, simply lift up and pull up. Now some of the risers are gonna come with eight pin GPU connectors. So this is a GPU connector that you can use to run a GPU here. This one also has a GPU connector. As you can see, these are 8x slots and a 16x slot. These are on CPU one, this one's on CPU two. So be careful, you usually have 40 lanes of PCIe on a V2 chipset. So make sure that you're counting up what you're using. If you're using too many lanes, then you might run into some problems, but it's pretty hard to get into that scenario. And this part number on this riser is 0FXHMV. Very cool riser. You can usually get this and adapt this to your, your server even after the fact. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna remove here and then pull it up, that is a 16 and this is on the number one. Part number is CPVNF for this and it also has this really cool GPU power riser. And if you note here, it says JGPU power 225 watts. So this is a really capable extra little riser of power that is on this board. The next thing I'll show you is how to remove one of the mezzanine cards. So simply go ahead, unscrew the little plastic tabs very carefully because these love to strip out. And once they start sounding like they're up, go ahead and push back on the tab and lift up. This one needs a little bit more. And then you can remove your card and there's a variety of replacement cards that can go in here. Just make sure that they have the correct facing orientation and are adaptable to this motherboard. Next thing I'll take out is the tray here. So the tray comes right off of there and you can see that we've got our CPU seated underneath here. There's no reason for me to get into the CPUs right now, so I'm just gonna leave those there. Uh, we can see here that I've got the card. This is an H710P and I have mine flashed to IT mode. So these are a little bit tricky to get out. It's actually pretty easy to pull the riser off first. That way you give your fingers a little more space because you need to be kind of up in here to do this. Now, if you note here, this fan shroud is geared to pull air directly in here 
and force it directly over your network card. So these aren't really gonna run that hot, but if you've got the 10G cards in here, they'll have a back, uh, a, a fan heat sink that comes back this way. So make sure you kind of seat that in, push it down, and then get it really good inside there. And so this is an H710 mini mono. You can also put a H310 in here and it'll work also. Now you can see here, we've got our connectors. These connectors go up to the back plane. So they're routed up through this side channel and then they go up to the back plane. Get this, flash this to IT mode if you're using something like FreeNAS or Unraid for sure. Even Proxmox, if you're gonna be using ZFS, I have mine flashed to IT mode so that I don't run into issues with it. All right, so that's the basics of a H720 XD. Really great machines, very performant. Inside here, I've got 2690 V2s. I've also got just enough RAM populated so that I can do some Chia plotting in addition to anything else that I wanna do on this rig. So when it comes to Chia plotting, I'll probably have this rig and four or five other rigs that are Chia plotting. I've got 128 gigs. It having 24 slots here, that makes it easy for you to get eight gigabyte sticks and grow your size. And eight gigabyte sticks in DDR3 are very cheap. All right, everybody, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell while you're down there. You can hit me up at Go Spaceport on the Twitters, digitalspaceport.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and check out these videos for more information on your favorite crypto topics.